Emily from Peavine Ridge Farms again. I just wanted to show you what we do with the loop. So we get the order, pick up the stuff from the grocery store, put it in the bucket of the tractor or in the wagon of the quad, and all the ladies line up over there waiting for us. And Patty's just standing on the electric wire making sure sleeping. So once we fed the loop, we thought we'd give it to the bull. <laughs> These ladies were not happy. They managed to walk right through the electric fence and come over to where the bull is and show their protest. So we learned our lesson and now we give everything to them. Well, we feed them first and then take a little over to the bull. And that is it. That's all it takes. Throw some boxes at them with food and they're happy. So that's the only treat they get is just the loop and then they get hay. They're very happy cows. Yay. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Okay. Emily again for Peavine Ridge Farms. I just hiked all the way in through these trees. And mama has a baby up here. Uh, this is one of the cows that Ed and Patty bought. So I don't totally know her and as you can see she's really looking at me <laughs> and I'm not overly brave so I'm just checking the calf I know the calf's not on dry ground she's pro he or she's gonna be on ice but mommy's really licking so maybe mommy will get her standing hopefully I'll come back down with someone else as backup and um, we'll try and maybe get the calf out of here and out onto the bedding just because this is not, this is not ideal. She is under a nice big spruce tree, but there's those logs there. And... So we'll see if mommy can get her up and going. Sorry, cut the video. Ah. And I need to um, give the calf a shot of selenium E and spray the navel. And as soon as baby gets nursing and going, I'll pop a tag in her. Or him. Could be a bull. I don't know. So I'll go get Ed or Patty's help to drag the calf out of here. Bring us lay down. Or maybe mommy will have her up and go in by then and she'll walk her out of here. Okay. Are you guys excited to move that baby calf in the no. snow? No. The baby calf can me. Baby calf kick you? Yes. That well, mommy cow get mad at me. That mommy cow get mad at you? Yeah. Okay, well you know what? We stay back.
and we just let Granny and Papa drag the calf out of the bush in the snow, okay? Yeah. Oh. But we'll videotape it, okay? So everybody at home can see. Can see? Yeah. And I read it. Yeah. So wait here. No, we gotta wait here. Granny and Papa coming back. There comes Ed with baby and mama. Hopefully the other cows don't bug her too much. That's probably good, Ed. I could just spare him just as easy on the ground, it'd be okay. Yeah. Did he get chilled too much or did we catch him in time? He seems pretty chilled, yeah. Okay, so if he's still warm. He seems fine, right? The, yeah. The nan is right here. Yeah. Well, maybe if she licks him and then with the sun and he's on dry ground now. Yeah, well, the sun would help, I think. Yeah. She's pretty bossy. And then now maybe I guess we'll feed the other cows and try and get them away from her. Yeah. Okay, you want me to bring a bale? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Jink, give me a coke. <laughs> So what I'm going to do for that little white calf that was just born, because he she had him in the snow, well like, oh, not a lot of snow, but a bit, I'm just going to heat up some colostrum that I had gotten from, or like milked out of the milk cow last June. So I'm going to heat that up and give it to the calf, just because sometimes I find when calves are born in snow like that, sometimes they're not eager to get going. And his mom, she's there with him on the hay, obviously now. But uh, she's kind of picking through the hay. She's she is licking him, um, but she's she's also interested in her tummy and the bit of licking that she is doing. He doesn't seem to be real vigorous. So I'm just gonna heat this up because rather than just waiting and dawdling, I'd rather just get this in him, get him heated up. Um, his mouth was still warm when Patty felt it. So I, I think it best just get some colostrum, get him going, and then hopefully he'll get nursing on his own. All right, it's Dallas filming now. Um, just wanna let you all know that he's doing quite well now. <laughs> he's actually hard to catch. They ear tagged him earlier today. Um, he actually sucked down that colostrum really quickly yesterday. Emily and I were a little bit too busy visiting since I just got back from work to um, <laughs> film. Uh, we just got distracted, but yeah, I just thought you'd all like to see at the end of the video that he's doing quite well and he'll probably jump up and run away <laughs> if I get any closer because he's quite wild. He's a big calf. We think he's like, we weighed him and he's uh, like 104 is where we pinned him on the weigh scale, so... He's a big bull calf.
he's significantly bigger than um, the other bull calf, which was 78 pounds. But yeah, he's looking good. Mom's looking good. But yeah, he's nursed out the back uh, two teats really well. And he's always got a full belly. And he's very waspy. He's hard to get close to. Thought you'd all liked uh, the update. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll be keep putting out more contact content as calving season continues. Thanks for watching. Bye.